Okay, Odd Mall, coming up shortly here on the other Odd Mall stage, we will have the confused greenies of the Players Patchwork Theater Company. Yay! Come on over and check them out. Greetings, everyone. We are the confused greenies of Players Patchwork Theater Company, and we love coming to Odd Mall. We first started coming last year. This you don't have to lie. They still, they'll still like you. We love coming to Odd Mall because Odd Mall actually gives us space to perform. So that's why it's not a lot. Because we love excuses to come out and do what we do. And, and what we do is semi-improvisational comedic theater where it has roots in the Italian Renaissance. So that's why what you're seeing right now is that we are all dressed as characters from the Italian Renaissance Comedia dell'arte. But, as we know, the wizarding world of Harry Potter goes back hundreds of years. So we are not going to be doing a play that features the characters we know from the movies, but does take place in the world of the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So the first of the three shorts that we're going to be doing today for you is The Wizard's Apprentice. <laughs> Can I see this? Okay. 
Thundercat 9000! Ooh, exciting! That's sweet! Look at the hair and stability! No, 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 I'm this! I'm this! It's strong! It's so sleek! Oh, oh, but there's no way I could have this. This must be priceless! Oh, priceless! It has no price, which means it's not worth any money, so it's worthless. So you can have it for free! Really? Yeah, for free? Yeah, because it's priceless. Thank you, Arlequino. You're the best whatever you are. I helped. I feel good about life. That toy will be so proud of you. That's what I'm saying. I'm so pleased. You guys like those blocks. You guys like throwing blocks. That was Flavio. What did that muggle want? No, no, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. In any case, he was was really excited about about the pink. It was really pretty and really pretty and also really pretty. And I don't think there was anything else, but that's what he said. That's what he said. But he he wanted to become a star. But he didn't have a room. Yeah, but I found a gold room in this room that you said I had to see. Yeah, we just had the one, but it was old and he said it was priceless. So I figured we could just get it. That's what he said. But they even have a first time. Yeah, they do. 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 So it's okay if you give it away. Listen, huh? next time someone comes in here looking for something like that, what you can tell them is it was kids. Yeah. And then it was coding a store. <laughs> And it crashed. It bucked its rider. As it crashed into a whomping pillow. And its back was broken. And the hair was gone from it. And what pieces we found. We took over to the owlery to draw. Do you understand? It, it, I tell them it was jinxed and, and, and it bucked its rider and, and it was caught in a storm and, 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 and crashed into a whomping willow and, and, and its back was broken and what pieces we could find we hung in the owry. Owry. Good. I have more work to do on, on this spell. I don't need any other interruptions. Okay. I, I keep this place secure and I provide that. Okay. I, I will remember what you told me, Dr. Thorne. That was a very violent exploration. So let me introduce myself! For I am Capitano Moco Blanco Sappuccino El Rande Testosterone. I am a force, the greatest wizard warrior has ever been. So it is. What? Why are you here? I am here because the Magi. They go to the Capitano and they tell him that a great army of dark wizards is forming out east. And they wish the Capitano lead the fight to them. They tell Capitano that he must go east where this army of powerful, horrible, terrible, unstoppable dark wizards is. So Capitano's gonna go west. 
The enemy will never see it coming. Such a clever plan. It must be clever because it doesn't make sense to me at all. Hopefully, the Magi don't know this either. But what this means is that I need a very fast steam. Has to be a hippogriff. Do you have a hippogriff suitable for the Capitano? Oh, oh. I think that took me say to say. Oh, yes. The hippogriff, yes. It, it was chased and, and it bumped its rider and, and, and it got caught in the storm and, and it crashed into a bumping willow. And his back was broken. And what he says we could find it, he hung in the owl. You would do this to a noble steed? A steed? No, no, it was a hippogriff. And they call them dark wizards. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Doctorio will be so proud, I'd remember the whole thing. Did I hear some kind of cowardly howling going on out here? That was the great wonder of Mr. Pacano. Oh, and what did that bombastic wizard want? He wanted a hippogriff. And I know he's got a hippogriff, but don't worry, I remembered your message. Ah, I told him that, that the hippogriff was jinxed. And that it fucked its writer, and, and it was caught in a spider, Why did it and, and it crashed into a long willow, and its back was broken, and we hung its bits that we could find in the house and ate it out. I remembered the whole thing! It did good! Rolikino, <laughs> this is the face he always gets when he's proud of me. If someone comes looking for something like that, here's what I want them to tell you. So they don't think we're some kind of mad people. I gotta remember this. Yes. Tell them that we took. <laughs> it we put it out to take a pasture. Oh. Exactly. Oh. 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 I tell them that put it out to pasture, where it went back, and, and lost the use of its limbs, and, and we had to tie it up and stuff it under the cupboard under the stairs. Yes. You stand over here watching the lamp so I can finish my work. Puppy! Watch. I don't trust him at all. I'll be listening. Oh, I know. Isabella! Yes, yes, I'm here to deliver a message to your master, Dottore Graziano, from my father, Pantalone. So a lot of messages today. Yes. Being that my father, Pantalone, is the wealthiest wizard in town, he is sponsoring a Yule Ball, a private affair, to be held in our home. And he sent me to tell you and your master that he is inviting your master, Dottore Graziano, because he's the most famous wizard in town, to the Yule Ball, along with his entire household. His entire household? That's me! Yes, you're his entire household. So you and your master are both invited to my father's Yule Ball. Oh, so you want Dottore to come? Yes, I want Dr. to come to the Evil Bowl to my father's Oh, house. what was I supposed to say? Oh, yes, Dr. Tori. Yes? Well, we put him out to pasture. What? We're, we're he went crazy. Oh, no! And he, he lost the use of his limbs. So we had to tie him up, stuff him under the cupboard, 
under the stairs. <gasps> In a cupboard under the stairs? Yeah. What a terrible place! No, 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 ah. no! And I am not mad! Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to stand! This is my buddy's heart! Oh, 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 no! Oh, you don't have my blood on me! Oh, go away! Oh, oh, my! Oh. Oh. I remembered the whole message again! Now Tori will be so proud of me, and then I can go to the party! I owned it. It's that proud face again. So you, uh, you think I was mad before? Huh? Let me tell you about exactly how mad I am now! I just stupefy on him, but I have a feeling you don't know what that. <laughs> and now the confused greens of Larry Patrick Theater Company bring you fashionable banditry. Oh, it's the invisibility cloak! Yes? Oh, 
get your oh. hands off of my brand new invisibility. What, what do you think? Does it make me look fat? <laughs> no, it makes you look thin, like you're almost not even there. Now give it back! What about my eyes? Does it go with my eyes? Uh, no, no, wait. It doesn't go with you at all. I think I should. I no, should no, you haven't seen it on me. What? No, no, no. I think I want me to help. No, no, no. Hey! No. Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You are my minions. Stop doing this. Stop whispering. What are you doing? Where, where did it go? Where did it go? It's invisible! You lost my invisibility cloak. Well, that and really I the case just of... bought from Diagon Alley. Uh, uh, Oh, I remember the first rule of banditry. It's true. Um, the person with the wands makes the rules. Well, you know what? Four if wands you, to zero. If you have any of the plays, you can talk to my partners. My no, partners. No, 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 Much further ado, Ooh. the confused greetings of Players Patrick Theater Company will bring for you our greatest play ever. One that we have specially tailored to be in the wizarding world. This is an epic production that we have been building to for ages. Pure 16th century community dell'arte. It's going to be three hours long with a cast of 20. And, what? What do you mean we can't do that one? We're out of time? We got, what, a like half hour left? <laughs> Alright! Um, you know how they have to always edit some, some stuff from the books? You know, to fit into the runtime and, yeah. and sort of cut out scenes? Well, uh... It's kind of like that! Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to do that. And, you know, you don't care about exposition, do you? You don't care about plot development and character development. You just want the thrilling climax of the play, the yes. epic last scenes, right? The dramatic conclusion! So, I think we can do that. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely. Guys, can we do that? You ready? Uh, we're skipping to the dramatic conclusion. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, everybody, just close your eyes and pretend that the curtain is just going up at the, at the very end, for the very last scene, the thrilling conclusion of It All yeah. Makes Sense Now. I'm really here. Are you all done? No? You want to sit right here? You want to sit right here? Yeah. Honey, there's people all over the ground. Mommy? Places! I swear to you, it's not what it looks like! Oh, it looks like you, Fabrizio, have kidnapped Isabella, the woman that I, Capitano, have been betrothed to! And it looks like you, Fabrizio, have kidnapped Isabella, my love, who has pledged her love to me. And it looks like you, a prettier, have kidnapped my daughter, Isabella. Oh, but it's not like that at all. Because Isabella has not been kidnapped. What? What? Expelliarmus. What? Really, oh. oh. Isabella has not been kidnapped, for I am Isabella. <laughs> Look, what's the purpose of Saki? Well, why would you do such a thing? I disguised myself as a man, Fabrizio. Why? I, in order to get out of the arranged marriage that my father, Pantalone, set up with you, Capitano. Why would you want out of that? Because I was in family. I love another. Horatio. But I knew that you, Father, would never allow me to marry someone who was born from a persona non magica family. So I knew I had to escape this arranged marriage for 
a pure blood wizarding family. So I disguise myself as a man. You see? Of course. It all makes sense now. What? Keep killing it. Don't swallow that. Don't exactly. swallow it. You use the name Fabrizio. Yes. But that is not a name unknown to me. Really? But you see, I used to, be, I used to not go by the name of Capitano, Moco, Blanco, Fappuccino. El Grande! Testosterone. No, years ago when I was just a wee babe, I had another name. You want to drink it? As a baby. I was kidnapped. You done? Stolen from my family. Are you done? Stolen by mage pirates. Mage pirates? Mage pirates most foul. Do you want to ride on the stroller? They took me. All I had to connect to my family, to my parents, to my loved ones, to my home, was a toy broom. And on that toy broom was etched my name. And the name, the name on that broom, do you know what it was? No, what was it? Fabrizio! Fabrizio! What, what a coincidence! What do you mean? This is reminding me of a story that I haven't told for quite some time. What is it, Papa? A long time ago. But this may be a, a, a surprise to you. I had a son. I had a brother? A son. My son. My son was taken from me. It was a very fateful day. There were, there were mage pirates coming. Mage, mage pirates? I heard they were bringing gallons. I thought they meant coins. I was completely off my guard. It, 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 it happened. It's a tragedy. My son was playing in his crib with his, with his toy broom. Oh, I love toy oh, brooms. So sweet. Oh. On the day he was taken. And on that toy broom, I put the name Fabrizio. Fabrizio? That's, that's amazing coincidence. If you had that broom, in your my son, my father, my papa, Papa Pantalone, Papa Pantalone. Oh, I miss you so much. And you're, you're my sister. My sister. Oh, your sister. That I almost married my sister! But oh. you can't marry your sister! I can't marry you! And that means we can get, get married! married. Of, of course! course. It oh, all makes sense, sense now! Except? Except? What? What? I, this is kind of reminding me of something that I didn't tell anybody about. My past. What? Well, oh. see, I... You have heard the name Fabrizio before, because, see, when I was but a little babe, I was taken from my family by mage pirates. Mage, mage pirates? pirates? Mage pirates most foul. Oh, and you know how that feels. Oh. It's amazing. Horrible experience. But I was, they left me with one connection to my past. A little toy room oh, with wow. my name etched in it. Oh, how adorable. And then my name etched into it is Fabrizio. That's my true name. Fabrizio? Fabrizio? That's a strange coincidence. I know it is. Whatever can it possibly signify? It is reminding me of something. What is it, Papa? Something I haven't told you. This may be a shock to you. I can't imagine. But I, I had not just one son. What? I had two. two I, have I have a brother. I have another brother. brother. You have brothers. <gasps> and, and on that one horrible, fateful night, when the mage pirates came. Mage pirates? The mage pirates most down. Most, those mage pirates were terribly busy. They were. They took both of my sons. Oh, my brother! My other brother! Your other brother! My other son had with him a little toy broom. And on the broom I had the name Fabrizio. Fabrizio? Fabrizio? Why did both your sons Fabrizio? 
Oh, we're, we're in the end. So yes, so this enjoy, was the end. So enjoy the rest of the uh, vendors at Oddmall, the rest of the food, which is incredibly tasty. We've tried it. So thank you very much for coming. And we are the Confused Greenies of Players Patchwork Theater Company. And you can look us up on Facebook and Twitter. We're getting other, other things up. We're going to be at Rubber City Pop Culture Fest next week. And any other events coming up. Hopefully at future Odd Malls later this month, later this year. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for our host at Odd Mall. Thank you for the group. Thank you to you. All right. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Let's give it up here <coughs> one more time. The confused reading from the player, Patrick Minicone. <laughs> give it up. Yeah. Woo! Woo